In the late 70s, the UN came up with what would eventually lead to the IPCC, the International Panel on Climate Change, of around 2,000 of the world's top scientists within the field of climate science to research and find out if climate change is being caused by humans. Around 500 refused to give their verdict. Around 900 said yes and around 600 said no. Science isn't a democracy but they basically ignored all the scientists that said no and only reported the scientists that said yes and came up with the 97% of scientists agree theory caused and created by Naomi Oreskes in 2004 who performed a survey of 928 peer-reviewed climate papers published between 1993 and 2003 under the IPCC with some interesting sponsors she claims to have found that none rejected the human cause of global warming what happened during the 1970s to 2000 was not only the creation of a new financial economy, jobs, stocks, futures, but it also created a divide of all the scientists into those that say humans do cause it. And still to this day, those that don't are called climate deniers who get belittled, ignored, and some losing or not getting funding just for their views by the mainstream media and the science world. There has never been a world forum or public debate for which everyone can be involved and contribute, scrutinise and plan from. It's all coming from what the IPCC said and there's many, many um, wrong data, lots of hidden data. Some of it is uh, true in, in theory of humans do cause lots of pollution and climate change but the majority of it is just false agenda pushing information